Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new review video for you. This time I am reviewing the Safari Limited Mountain Dragon. This is set number 801629. It came with a tag wrapped around the neck, wrapped around the neck here with this piece of plastic here. And a warning card in English and some other languages. Here is the tag Safari Limited Mountain Dragon 801629. Inside there's some basic information and manufacturing information. Now it says here 2009 so perhaps that's when this was first molded. I looked all across the dragon's body and I didn't find any manufacturing information anywhere on it. Usually there's something on the belly but I didn't find any information on the belly or anywhere else. Now I purchased this sometime during 2018 or 2019. Let's take a look at the dimensions of this figurine. Now from the tail to the snout it is about nine and one quarter inches long. At the widest point from wing to wing it's about six and one quarter inches wide. And at the highest point, it's either the neck here or maybe the wings. Let's try the wings. It looks like it's a little bit more than three inches tall at the highest point. So let's take a look at the detail of this dragon. Now dragons, or at least the western style dragons, are a symbolic creature composed of big cats like a tiger and a snake and a bird. Although very often I think the wings are more bat-like than bird-like. So the wings here are very very pliable so we want to be careful about bending them. I think when this was molded and put together I think the uh, wings the wings and the front legs are a single piece that's attached here it looks like there's a little seam there. The same thing on this side this front leg and the wing are a single piece that are attached to the body here So this dragon has um, golden horns or golden spikes, so very nice. Also golden claws on the feet here. So all of them are painted. So very nice there. And if we look a little bit of paint there on some spikes. However, there don't seem to be any spikes on the body down here. But then we get some more along the tail here. So a nice spiked tail. Very nice. Now this is a this is a mountain dragon, so it seems to be kind of a brown color. Now what I do like about this is it actually has four eyes, so it's a little bit different than most dragons. Most dragons generally have just two eyes, but this one has four. So I don't know of any cats or birds or snakes that have 
four eyes. So I wonder if they're trying to, um, well, they just added eyes to make it interesting or if there's some other animal that, that they're combining with these others to create this mythological dragon. Now there's a lot of impressive scale work done throughout the whole body. So if we look at the side here, it seems like there's a couple of stripes of uh, scale work that has been sculpted into this figurine. So an awful lot of nice little detail here. You know, different color and a little bit of different scale work pattern here. And it goes across the body. Now it's a little hard to see here. There it is. And then it's interrupted by the leg here, but then it continues, continues on the tail. So it's the same on both sides. So a couple of different color and different kinds of scale work done here. So very nice. Also along the body here and on the tail there. A little hard to see in the shadow. And then the legs. The legs have a lot of scales sculpted into them. The hind legs here, the back legs. A lot of nice detail there. So, actually it's rather impressive how much detail they put into this. Same thing with the front legs or the arms and also the fingers. Actually made some nice fingers here. A nice sharp beak, kind of bird-like here. And on the underside, some large, large scale work here. Yeah, normally the manufacturing information would be stamped in here somewhere, but no, I just don't see it. And I like the pose. They, they did a lot of work and they, they made the fingers look nice. Looks like the dragon has some tips there and then the rest of the hand is above the the surface there. So very nice pose here now i think the belly the belly here just barely touches the surface i think they did that maybe um, way back in 2009 they were just starting to make dragons and so they wanted to put the belly on the surface to provide more um, stability or to make it sturdier. Now when I bought it I did check to make sure it was stable and sturdy and didn't uh, wobble so that was very nice. So this is the Safari Limited Mountain Dragon. I think this is a very impressive dragon figurine. I especially like all the scale work done on this and the color choices are pretty good. Kind of fits in with the mountain theme. And I especially like the uh, four eyes. Just makes it very uh, scary looking. So all in all I'd say this is a very impressive dragon figurine. Thank you for watching my video. Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. Until next time, goodbye everyone.